Outside of having a good quarterback, having a top-tier pass rush is a key to winning in the NFL. Being able to stop a drive with a crucial sack or a forced fumble is pretty much everything. This year, there are two pass rushers that are seen as the 1A and 1B of this class. Those two are Kayvon Thibodeau of Oregon and Aiden Hutchinson of Michigan. In this video, we're going to do a back-to-back -back comparison of these two prospects. I'll show you everything you need to know about both of them as they enter the NFL and who my preference would be if I was picking at the top of the NFL draft. Before we do that though, if you can do me a huge favor and like and subscribe to my channel, I'd greatly appreciate it. So we'll start this video by talking about Kayvon Thibodeau. When I look at him as a prospect, what I see is your prototypical makeup of a modern day pass rusher. He's six foot five, weighs around 260 pounds, and his first step explosiveness is right up there at the top of the entire class. He has the agility to flip his hips and to move laterally while chasing the quarterback. He also has a lot of strength to land a deadly punch. Now, in terms of advanced metrics, Thibodeau's 17.5% pass rush rate is extremely impressive. This is even more remarkable considering the number of double teams and triple teams he faced on a regular basis. Teams feared his ability to dip and rip around the edge. At Oregon, Thibodeau was the premier pass rusher. He lined up on either side of the formation in a two-point and three-point stance, and then he uses speed and burst again to the backfield. He has a rare combination of speed, flexibility, and strength. His ability to dip and rip around the edge to hunt the quarterback is all really impressive. On top of that, he can convert speed to power. He uses a well-placed strike on the shoulder pad, and his one-stab bull rush is something that's going to create a lot of future sacks in the NFL. I think a combination of that speed and dip around the edge to win outside, plus that one arm stab bull rush to win inside will be his main two moves in the pros. I also did see a spin move that was well set up, but we just didn't see that move very often. The other thing that really impressed me was that he seemed to have a good sense of where the quarterback was at all times. He would alter his path in order to take the best angle depending on where the QB was. You'd rarely see him blow around the edge like some of the other edge rushers in this class. In my opinion, Thibodeau would be at his best in a penetrating one-gap scheme. He needs to continue to use his explosive first step off the line of scrimmage at all costs. Anything that slows that pursuit down would be a huge mistake in my opinion. Let him run first and react second because he don't want to lose that speed advantage. This showed up any time the Ducks asked him to line up against the interior of the offensive line. He can beat guards that are slow off the snap, and his inside moves are deadly to an offensive tackle that sets up too far outside. Going along with what I just said, he needs to stop using as many stutter steps in his pass rush. Sometimes his hands and feet will become disconnected. What you'll see is he'll take two steps that are perfectly timed to set up a bull rush, and then he'll stutter or re-angle his body, and you'll lose all of the benefits of his speed. Thibodeau learning to connect his hands to his feet is going to be crucial for his development. In my opinion, the other thing he needs to work on is simply having a predefined rush plan. At times, he'll just use his burst at the line of scrimmage, but he doesn't attempt to use any real move to speak of. I think getting him into a habit of thinking about each snap and what his plan is going to be will be very important for how he attacks pass blockers in the pros. In terms of run defense, Thibodeau has enough strength and balance to hold up at the point of attack. However, I consistently saw him lose his gap and be undisciplined in his assignment. There were too many plays where he was the contained defender on the edge, but for some reason, he would shed and try to attack the interior gap. The gap would often be occupied by another defender. It was a bit frustrating, considering that he clearly has enough strength and size to stand up any blocker at the line of scrimmage, but he just tried too hard to disengage and make a play. Additionally, pullers were sometimes an issue too. He would get outgapped when a puller was hitting his side of the line of scrimmage. When he was disciplined though, I really liked what I saw. For me, I think it comes down to coaching. I think that will take him to the next level. In my opinion, you should make the start of his career simple in his responsibilities so that he can learn the finer nuances of the game. Now for his pro comparison, the player I see is Cleo Mack. Now I'm not saying he'll instantly be as successful as Mack was coming out of Buffalo, but all the traits are there. His explosive first step, his instincts to find the quarterback, his speed and bend around the edge, and him having all pro potential based on his size and strength. For him to fully turn into Mack though, he'll need to be more disciplined in his assignments. But like I said before, all the tools and traits are there. He just needs a little bit of coaching to help get him with the pass rush plan to make him more consistent. Based on these traits, I gave Thibodeau an early first round grade. Before we talk about Aiden Hutchinson, I want to give a huge shout out to HelloFresh for sponsoring this week's video. HelloFresh is here to make eating better and easier. No grocery stores, no stressful meal planning, just everything to prepare a wholesome, delicious meal all delivered to your door. I honestly have no idea why I've waited so long to try it, but trust me, it was definitely worth it. This week, my wife and I tried the White Cheddar Wonder Burgers. They were so incredibly tasty. The produce was fresh and had a ton of flavor, the meat was portioned perfectly for both to share, and the recipe was so easy to follow, it made the entire experience effortless. HelloFresh has more five-star recipes than any other meal kit, and they even offer quick and easy recipes that can be finished in under 20 minutes. 
Now, not only was everything delicious, but what I love about HelloFresh is how their pre-portioned ingredients help you cut down on prep time and also help you waste less food. HelloFresh cuts down your food waste by at least 25% compared to grocery shopping. If you go to HelloFresh.com and use my code SAMGOLD16, you can get 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. Again, go to HelloFresh.com and use my code SAMGOLD16 to get 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. So back to the breakdown, it's time to talk about Aiden Hutchinson. When I look at Hutchinson as a prospect, what I see is a monstrous man with a thousand pounds of strength. While he doesn't have the elite first step explosiveness of your cave on Thibodeau, he plays the game with strong hands and a bull rush that can dominate. What I found interesting was that he seemed to keep getting better in every single game I watched. He doesn't have ideal length for a pass rusher off the edge, but from a technical standpoint, he checks every single box. Everything from hand placement to how he attacks half-man relationships with his pass rush to how he consistently chases down the ball carrier are all things I really liked. He also times the snap pretty well. I think he did get caught a few times jumping earlier than he should have, but I think he can use that first step timing to his advantage at the next level. In terms of the pass rush, the name of the game for Hutchinson is speed to power conversion. He does an amazing job of creating power with his hands. He knows how to convert two steps into a punch, and his hand technique to keep fighting, countering an offensive lineman will always be his advantage. Either as a one-arm stab move with excellent length, strength, and power, or him driving with both hands using a two-hand bull rush, both moves will be very effective. He also has a nasty club swim move to win inside. He actually won a lot of his pressures with his quickness. This is saying something because Hutchinson is a really good athlete. He actually made Bruce Feldman's freak athlete list as the number two overall player. In my opinion, he has all the tools to be a consistent double digit pass rusher. Where I think he can improve is with his flexibility around the edge. Him using a dip and rip or many of his outside moves is something that he'll need to work on. I don't think offensive tackles will be afraid of his burst around the edge. In my opinion, Hutchinson is going to win either through the blocker with speed to power or he's going to win on an inside move. I just worry he doesn't have the flexibility to be a threat on the outside. Now, when it comes to his run defense, Hutchinson is your premier edge defender. He can stand up to any blocker at the point of attack, and he does a fantastic job of using his hands and length. His ability to stack and shed and then use a bull jerk to finish a blocker is textbook teaching tape for future generations. He also sniffed out a few screens too, which tells me he's pretty smart. For his weaknesses in the run game though, I strongly recommend that you don't flex him outside. Him as an apex linebacker is not something I ever want to see. He's a 3-4 defensive end or a 4-3 edge rusher and I'm always going to put him on the line of scrimmage. There's no reason at all to put him in space. Outside of this, I think his pad height can get a bit too high at times, so that's also something you'll need to work on. For his pro comparison, the guy I'm going to go with is Max Crosby. Now Crosby took two full seasons to turn into the player he is today. He was a fourth round pick that some scouts saw as a late day three type of player. Obviously Hutchinson will go before that. In fact, I think he's a top five pick guaranteed. The reason why I made this comparison though is how Hutchinson plays the game. How he uses his strength and length to power off the edge is very similar to how Crosby plays the game too. Just like Crosby, he has a nasty speed to power conversion. Both players can also win inside and both players have really good motors. I think purely from a prospect point of view, Hutchinson was way more polished coming out of college. Hutchinson's hand technique and his run defense prowess is miles ahead of where Cosby was a few seasons ago. Now for his grade, I kind of alluded to this before, but I gave Hutchinson an early first round grade. He has great hand technique to create pressure and to keep his frame clean. He has the strength and length to control the point of attack. Also, I think if you pair him with a speed rusher like Josh Allen on the Jacksonville Jaguars, this would make for an insane one-two punch when you look at these pass rush duos in the NFL. So to wrap this up, who do I like better as a prospect? In my opinion, I have Aiden Hutchinson higher on my board. That's obviously not a shot at Kayvon Thibodeau or anything like that. For me, it all comes down to technique. I think Hutchinson is miles ahead in that regard. It's going to take a lot of coaching to get Thibodeau to the point where Hutchinson is currently. However, both are obviously great prospects. I would have no problem taking either with a top five pick in the upcoming NFL draft. Well, that's all I have for you in this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Next week, we'll continue looking at NFL draft prospects. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel and keep a lookout for those. Thanks again. You can support me directly via my Patreon, a link below. Also, you can follow me on Twitter at Samuel R. Gold.